Hello everyone, I'm Greg and you're watching Greg's Garage. Welcome to the show. For those of you that are new to the garage, we like to keep you up to date on what's going on in the world of power sports with a section we call the news. We begin with an event that you might want to plan for, the AIM Expo in Orlando, Florida. Now, AIM Expo is a place for dealers and consumers to come out and see the latest and greatest offerings from the world of power sports. If you want to see over 300 exhibitors from manufacturers to product producers, come out and do it. There's demo rides, on-site education. It is massive and it's in October in Orlando. So bring the kids, make it a thing. It's growing fast and the American Motorcyclist Association has scheduled their annual member convention during AIM Expo. Any AMA member can come to the convention and do some really cool stuff, including chatting it up with AMA folks. Uh, there's so much to do. So AIM Expo is now AMA endorsed. So here's AMA president Rob Dingman with more. Hi, I'm Rob Dingman. I'm president of the American Motorcyclist Association, and I want to encourage everybody to go to the AIM Expo on October 16 through 19. We're going to have a great AMA National Convention as part of it, along with our Hall of Fame induction, and you're not going to want to miss it. Visit AIMExpoUSA.com for more details on this October 16th through the 19th event, and get those plane tickets. I'll be there for sure. All right, so American Honda announced an all-new side-by-side made in America. It's a 2015 Pioneer 500. It carries two people, and as Honda states, it's perfect for chores on the farm, off-road adventures, relaxed trail rides in the country. It's got paddle shifters, 50 inches wide, so it works on those trails that have imposed width restrictions. It was designed by Honda R&D in Ohio and is made in Timminsville, South Carolina. Check out powersports.honda.com for more information. Now to some motorcycle racing. The Grand National Cross Country Series is in full swing. The Amsoil GNCC Series is already in round seven of 13. And you can watch those races online at racertv.com. Joining us now is one of the commentators of the GNCC Series, Jen Kenyon. Welcome to the garage, Jen, how are you? I'm doing well, thank you for having me here. Yeah, it's good to have you on here. You, we're like midway part of the season already. And tell us about the GNCC series in general. What's it all about? I, like you said, we have 13 rounds of cross country racing. Now our courses are anywhere between 10 and 12 miles. So these guys, uh, they have a pretty brutal and grueling track that they ride. Um, it's three hours at a time for the pros. So these are some of the most tough athletes I've ever seen. I mean, a lot of us, with motocross backgrounds, we think, oh, 30 minutes plus two laps, that's a long time to go in the heat. But these guys race for three hours at a time. So uh, yeah, we're halfway through. We have round seven this weekend in our home state of West Virginia. Um, our points battles are really close in the pro classes. So it's just, it's been exciting all, all season long. Now tell me where people can see the GNCC series because it's quite unique and spectacular, isn't it? Yeah, for the first time ever, uh, we started up racertv.com. It's basically just an online hub for all things racing. Uh, we have the Grand National Cross Country Series. We're slowly moving into other forms of off-road racing. We have ATV motocross racing on there, um, some of the amateur motocross nationals. So our big thing with racertv.com is uh, we're doing live streaming coverage of all three hours of the pro races. These guys are putting all their setup into the woods. We're getting maybe five to six camera shots uh, in in one race uh, over the span of 10, 12 miles. So uh, we're really excited to be bringing our fans live coverage for the first time. Uh, we also have delayed coverage on NBC Sports Network, which has been awesome. We've been partners with those guys for a few years now, but um, you know, just having the real time coverage is pretty awesome. So racertv.com, it not only has uh, all the live coverage, but we also have, uh, like I said, it's archive shows. You can watch all the live races um, after they happen, as well as some of our upcoming episodes of, um, you know, recaps and different things. So we've got a lot going on over there, um, but right now it's all about the live racing. Where can we find more information about the GNCC series? You can go to gnccracing.com. Uh, we just got a brand new website, so we got a lot of cool features on there. Um, all the information you can need is on there, and then there's also some links to the racertv.com and all the um, online footage as well. Great. Thanks, Jen, for joining us here on Greg's Garage and all the great information. We appreciate it. Oh, no. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. All right. Now on to some pro racing. It's true. The Outdoor Motocross Series is upon us. It begins this weekend at Glen Helen in Southern California. Now, big question has been, what about the television package? What's going on? Well, MX Sports 
has sent out a press release outlining the television coverage. So here's the deal. You have a two moto format. Moto one is going to air on MAV TV, which is available on Dish Network. It's also available on Direct TV and some cable providers. So you gotta go find MAV TV. Moto two is gonna air on NBC Sports. So if you have both those channels, you're gonna be able to watch Moto one and Moto two during the same day. If you want more information about how that's all gonna work, then simply go to promotocross.com. There's information there as well. Well, that's all the time we have on Greg's Garage. We hope you enjoyed the news. If you're watching us on the YouTube channel, please click on subscribe, we appreciate it. And we post exclusive stuff on there from time to time. You wanna follow us on Facebook, facebook.com slash Greg's Garage TV, instagram.com slash Greg's Garage, and you can follow me on Twitter, it's simply at Greg White. And for all the shows and stories we've ever done, it's Greg's Garage TV.com. They're all on there for you to watch. Well, thanks for joining us this time on Greg's Garage, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.